Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is every Wednesday go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Mood's Instagram page, and I decide if I'm gonna add any new items to my wish list, or if I think they're all total washouts. Before we jump into this week's new products, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like the series, it really helps me out. And if you haven't already, subscribe at the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. And let's get into it. Okay, so we've got two products from Natasha Denona. One that I'm really excited about, and one that I'm just like, what? Let's, let's, just wait. So the first one. Who asked for this? I've literally not been more bored with a palette. Ever. Like, ugh, I, I can't find one interesting thing about this. And it's expensive. Like, mm, come on. Like, don't these swatches just like put you to sleep? So the Natasha that I'm actually excited for, there is a new palette coming out. It's gonna be called the Safari Palette one of the larger palettes about the size of the Sunset or the Leela. It's gonna be expensive, but it's the black and white photo, so I haven't seen the shades. I, I'm i not as big of a fan of the mattes from the Tosh Denona as I am the shimmers, but I'm gonna hold my judgment until I see these colors, because I'm, I'm interested. Gotten me interested. See this, I can't get behind. Marc Jacobs came out with some like single eyeshadows, $30 each. Mark, baby, what are you doing? <laughs> They're oversized compacts, but come on, that's a lot of money for a single shadow. So Sephora is expanding their collection of their pro palettes, which I haven't tried any of them before, uh, but these do like look like some interesting palettes. And I do want to try one of them out, so I think I'm going to pick one of these up. I'm just not sure which one yet. In this picture, the two bottom ones look interesting to me because one of them has some nice yellows and some mustards, and the other one has some green shades. So it looks like there's an editorial... Yeah, so the editorial two is the one of the yellows. The smoky jewels, that might be mine. And then the new nudes. The nudes ones, let's just get, just get rid of that one. We're not gonna do that one. But I think I might go for the smoky jewels. They do look really beautiful. And I think they're the same price. Yeah, $65. That's how much the previous palettes were. But I think it's good that they're expanding their collection personally. I would have liked to see more medium-sized palettes from Sephora in this kind of packaging. I would have liked a, maybe something kind of like a Lila palette size. Not the mini one, like the actual Lila palette. I think that would have been a good middle point. Make it around $45. I think that would have been perfect from Sephora. But, you know, I gotta say, they had me intrigued. Now, the release of the hour, if not hour, of the month of the year. I am so excited for Too Faced's new collection. It's called the Tutti Frutti Collection, and there's actually a few things in here that I am quite fascinated by. Their eyeshadow palettes, I was actually really interested in the neutral one at first, because they had that green in there. Take out the green. I don't need it, so I'm not gonna be getting that one. But I think their pinks and purple one is really cute, so maybe there. What I'm really interested in, they have a new foundation, and it's a dewy foundation. And I'm really hoping that it's just a dewy version of like their Peach Perfect matte that came out. I'm really hoping that it's like a similar formula, but dewy, because that Peach Perfect is one of my holy grails. And if I could find a dewy version, I legitimately wouldn't need to buy like another foundation, like ever. So I am 100% going to be trying out this dewy foundation. It's called, it's called like the Do You Foundation, which is adorable. So definitely 100% trying that. They're also coming out with a new setting spray. Not sure if I'd go for that. I like my setting sprays. Um, they're coming out with a compact banana powder. It looks like it's kind of the same thing as the Candy Johnson powder, but I do want to try that one out as well. I'm not sure what's going on with the like split pan blush things. I don't see any shades in here that would really look good on me. I was hoping for like a peachy one, but 
so I'm not sure if I would get any of those. And I'm not interested in liquid or cream highlighter, so odds are I'm not gonna go for any of those, but really excited about the, the compact face powder coming back, the dewy foundation, the one eyeshadow palette. I think this is a really good direction for Too Faced to go into, and I'm just really excited to see how these products perform. Marc Jacobs is coming out, again, I mentioned Marc earlier, but coming out with a new lip gloss. I've never actually had a full-size lip gloss from Marc Jacobs, and I've been meaning to pick one up because I do love the mini that I have. I have the mini in Sugar Sugar, or Cream and Sugar, and it's gorgeous. I love the formula, so I really do want to get a full size at one point. I just don't know like what shade, but this one does look really pretty. It's like a champagne bronzy shade and it looks like it's supposed to be like a, a special edition one that goes with the Daisy like perfume. So I, the one thing is I would have to see this in store and like smell it because I don't want it to be like heavily fragrance. That's the only thing. Okay and then Charlotte Tilbury has a date for when they're coming to Sephora. They're gonna be there September 13th. So once they get to Sephora, I really want to check out their selection and see what they have. If you guys have any recommendations for products from Charlotte Tilbury to try, let me know down below because I've never tried it. Really want to, but I have no idea where to start. Never tried the brand ever. Give me some advice below. So at first, this new brow contour from Benefit looked kind of interesting, but then I saw it was $34. I'm not paying $34 for a, for a clicky pen. Sorry. Oh, and last but not least, from BH Cosmetics, they came out with a like sister palette. They take me back to Brazil. They take me back to Brazil Rio edition. I still haven't even touched the back to Brazil, and I own that, and I've owned it for so long, and I know, I know, I know. How? But yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be picking this up because it's all shimmers, and I haven't even picked up like the original palette, so. Odds are I'm never gonna, I would never reach for it. I'm still waiting with bated breath for what the sister palette, the Zodiac, is going to look like though. And that is it for this week's new releases. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.